This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. First of all, just me log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just me come back over here and activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, just me come back over here and click on this enable Google Cloud Services over here. From here, just me copy this command, come back, paste, hit enter. This thing that you had to do. Now, once you come back over here and if you just me click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated immediately, don't worry. Just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a score. Now, meantime, what you had to do, just me search for the Vertex AI, click over here, wait for a second now. If you want, you can just me close this tab also, like this way. Okay, now just me click on this enable all recommendation API and then just me click on this workbench. Now, just me wait. And it's done. Now just me click on this create new over here. Now for the, your instance name, just me come back. If you want, you can just me click on this check and progress. This time you might get a score. As you can see, we got a green tick. Now just me scroll down over here. And from here you can see this vertex AI. So just me copy this name carefully. Come back and replace over here. Like this way. Now for the region and the zone. For me, the given region is US East 4 and the zone is US East 4C. So I'm going to choose that for you. It might be different. So just me choose accordingly that. Once you're done with all this configuration, just me click on this create button over here. Now this thing will take a couple of minutes. Meantime, what you do in the description box of this video, I will share on GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me click on this download this button like this way and this file download to your local system. Once you're done with that, now just me wait for your Jupyter notebook to be get create. It might take at least two to three minutes. And it's finally done. Now just me click on this open Jupyter lab. It will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, just me come back over here and from the lab instructions, just me scroll down. If you want, if you just me click on this check my progress, you will get a score. Okay. Now for the task number two, just me copy this command, come back, just me wait. So it's done. Now just me click on this terminal and paste the command over here like this way hit enter wait for a second and it's done now just me come back and click on this check my progress once you get a green tick over here then only move forward with the another task otherwise what happened you have to repeat this task again and again okay so just simply remember this thing now we are done with the task number two come back over here now here you can see this file cns challenge lab if you want you can just delete this file just me click over here and click on this delete button and then click on this upload button like this way now just me click on this upload and from here just me upload the file which you just download from my github repo so just me click on this open and it's done now just me double click over here like this way now if you're using a jupyter notebook for the first time so for running a shell or you can say command you can just me click on this play button over here or you can just me hit shift and enter just make sure that your kernel must be tensorflow 211 one more thing just me check your kernel status if it busy or disconnecting at that time you have to just me wait for to run the next command okay now what you do just me scroll down over here if you want you can just me click on this edit button over here and from here just me click on this clear all output like this way just me click over here now you can see all the things are removed now just me scroll down and from here you can see this region so for that just me copy this region come back and just me replace over here like this way okay make sure that there is no extra space now what you do we have to run each and every shell so first of all we are going to run this particular shell so just me run this over here now you can see it's busy so just me wait until it shows a ideal and it's done now what you do we have to restart our kernel for that what you do we have to just me run this particular shell over here like this way so just me run this just me wait now you will get this kind of pop-up click on this ok and now if you just me hover over here and as you can see now our current status is ideal 
now what you do you have to just run each and every shell till end like this way just make sure that you have to replace your region as per your lab instruction page once you're done with that now just run till end and it's done now if you just me hover over here and from here you can see kernel status is busy it's executing 8 cell and it's had to execute 17 cell just make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise your jupyter notebook will be disconnect and because of that you might face error now this thing is going to take at least 30 to 50 minutes so keep your laptop awake you can do one more thing you can just me open a youtube over here like this way and here just me search for the quick lab Click over here. Now here just me type TFX. And from here you can see one hour long video. You can just me play this video in background so that your laptop is awake. Now I'm going to fast forward all this waiting time. So just me wait for a couple of minutes. And it's finally done. Now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure. So just me wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.